This is Danny222. Check out my interview with Buzz Down dropping shit right now. Yeah, bro, I go by uh, Danny222. Yeah, shit, everybody call me Danny. I just added the 222 because uh, I see that shit everywhere I go, my nigga. Today, no, no bullshit. My son's social security start with 222. Yeah. Like, that shit just pop up everywhere. It kind of means that you on the right track type shit. That you just, like, in the right place and, you know, doing what you need to do type shit. Been doing this music shit for, like, a year now, shit. Just trying to get that shit popping. So it's good, bro. You know, we've been locked in for a little minute. You know, we had like a little hoop session not too long ago and shit. So, uh, but but let, let's go back to the beginning a little bit. What would you say? When would you say you kind of start getting into the music? Like, what would you say influenced you? Cause you know, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of rappers out here in Houston and shit like that. We got a lot of people that rap or playing they rap. So, kind of speak on what influenced you to get into it. Shit, since I was a kid, I always loved music and shit. I just listen to rap. I would always jam, you know, Wayne, shit. Really, Wayne, was, he just, he was on that run. That's all I was listening to. Nigga was like on um, LimeWire and shit, trying to download the leaks and shit like that. Uh, but shit, uh, really, when my bro put me in the stool, and then after that shit, I just started recording and recording because uh, that shit... Help me get shit off my mind type shit. The Off White V Long is the first song I ever recorded and I shot a video to that hoe. Like that bitch on YouTube right now. That bitch got deleted so many times though, cause yeah. it had a naked bitch on there and yeah. cameraman didn't blur it out type shit. So YouTube kept, you know, kicking it off type shit. So what was that like? Did you did you get the feedback you wanted from that? Or did you feel I like did at first and then my ID got deleted, the all that shit yeah. got deleted. So it was like it's kind of like a throwaway now type yeah. shit. You feel me? As an artist, like you, you know, as an artist losing your Instagram account and shit like that, do they did they kind of like affect the way you feel about? Not the shit? really, cause I always did music for fun, but that shit did hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, cause I had a little momentum going type shit. I felt like, and then that shit kind of stopped it. Not too long ago, like probably like a week ago, I seen you reposted a post from Lil TJ page. Uh, yeah, and it yeah. said it said two 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 passed eight million streams in his in the first four days, and then you reposted on your story saying I don't give a fuck what nobody said. I started this two 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 shit. I say I started that shit. I didn't see that shit until I did it. Yeah, but, I mean it's cool shit. That nigga did numbers. Shout out to TJ, but shit, I I for real started that shit. So musically, what what all you got going on musically right now? I know you just dropped the uh you just dropped locations and you got a couple of futures on there. So so what all you got going on right now? Shit, just in the studio working, you feel me? I got a bunch of songs done right now that I could put together, you know, for another tape type shit before 2023 ends. So I think I'm gonna do this shit. So how did them, uh, them features on that on the, uh, on that, on that tape come about? Like the one with D-Raw, Animes, you know, you got- Animes, I found her like shit. Before I feel like anybody in Houston found her type shit. Yeah. Uh, she was from D.C. at the time. I just seen her on Instagram randomly. And she said uh, she posted that she was in town type shit. I was just like, let's work. And we just hit the yo and just, we made that song Access, which I fuck with. A lot of people fuck with that hook. Uh, and then d Raw just, uh, we had been locked in for a minute type shit. Yeah. I just sent that song over. We sent that verse back. You, you originally from out here in Houston? Yeah, I'm from Houston, shit, north side. Right there, for like Lil York and Hopper type shit. As far as Houston music artists, who some Houston music artists that you would say kind of influenced you too? Cause I know you mentioned Wayne. Yeah. Who are some people in Houston that you would say kind of like got you to fuck with it? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really listening to Houston rap like that. To be yeah. honest, bro. To be honest, I listen to like a lot of Louisiana <laughs> shit. Oh, what's some shit, y'all? I say, what's some shit you grew up hearing? Like, what's some shit your people probably played a lot that you just grew up hearing? Uh, shit. A lot of R&B type shit. My yeah. dad used to play that shit. Uh, Michael Jackson shit. But as far as rappers, not really too many type shit. What, what would you have to say about the you know the, the new music scene right now in Houston or in Texas as, in general? Like, what's your thoughts on the music scene right now? I feel like a lot of people are doing different shit, which is which is cool because we just need different shit out there. There's a lot more Mexican rappers right now. Yeah, shit that's popping. 
shit. But everybody's everybody's doing their thing. What you feel like you bring a different to the music scene? I feel like I'm in my own lane type shit. I, don't, I feel like nobody really doing what I'm doing type shit. Do you ever do you ever have days where you feel like all right this shit not moving fast enough? I'm about to just do some other shit. Nah, cause I just always do this shit on the side, really. Yeah. Cause like it's just it's just music to me. Like yeah, it's yeah. just it's just whatever. So this, yeah. so you don't really you don't really look at it as like something you just want to use to make art. But if it happened, it happened. Type yeah. Shit. If it happened, it happened. You yeah. Know, cool. Fuck it. Let's, let's go. Let's keep it rolling. Type shit. But. Yeah. What would you say is your What would you say is your main focus? Just uh, keep putting shit out consistent type yeah. shit. Like every month, hits you know every couple weeks, hits out with some type shit that you gotta see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you fuck with the process as far as like building projects or working on songs or writing songs? Yeah, that shit exciting at first. Hell yeah. Yeah. Then once you get that bitch together, you done so much work that shit it does feel good at the end type shit. Yeah, I write and punch in type yeah, yeah. shit, but it just depends on the beat and the song, what type of song type shit. Since you say you you fuck with it, but you it's like it's like on and off, or not on and off, but it's like if it happened, it happened. Yeah. What would you say you see you will see this shit at in like the next five years? Shit, in the next five years, I'm probably won't be doing this shit. You yeah. feel me? I just, <laughs> probably won't be doing this shit. I'll probably be like trying to. Start a different business, you know what I mean? Yeah, what's, what's some other shit you're trying to get into? See, I'm trying to get my merch rolling type shit. Yeah. Because I feel like I got a code as logo and a little Phantom Pack shit. I feel like I can, you know, get some merch going with that shit. All right, so what, what's your creative process like? Like when you get in the studio or when you hear a beat, like what you got to like what you gotta come with first? What you got to think, what you think of first? The smoke got to be there first and foremost. Shit. My nigga TC gotta be there because he, he's the one that makes the beats. Yeah. Code is producer in the H right now. And shit. Just uh just a vibe type shit. Speak on that, build like speak on building like relationships with upcoming engineers, upcoming producers and all like you feel like that's important to like lock in with somebody early on? It is, but I've been knowing T C since shit, before high school type shit. So yeah. that's my that's my bro before anything. So with that shit, it's so easy because he, he can put on anything. We just got that chemistry already. You fuck with, with, with somebody like, say if you're in the studio with TC or somebody, and they be like, nah, this ain't it. Y'all think you should go back in there. You fuck with the, the uh, constructive criticism yeah, and shit? Yeah, I want that shit. Yeah. I don't, want, I don't want some bullshit coming out the fucking speakers and you just be like, damn, yeah, yeah, this whole cool. Nah, fuck that. I'd rather go back in and change shit. You know what I mean? How you feel about the blog pages right now? You feel like they're important to the upcoming uh, upcoming scene or, or artists in general? They, do you feel like they're important? Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you get your name out there like that. You can get popping like that if, you know, these pages posting you every damn day type shit. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, I, I would say it's important. So what's the uh, what's the what's the message you got to everybody that's been supporting you, showing you love, and, you know, just tapping in, listening to your music, reposting the music, and all that? So I appreciate every, you know, everybody that supports me type shit and everybody that fucks with music shit. I just, I fuck with y'all. Every, every new artist coming up got to tap them, bust down.